Hello, it is Cookie, Catbird Seat Cutter, and welcome back to Platypi Baseball, where today we have Platypi Baseball on the Classic Cookie Gaming channel. They are in first place in uh, the start of today's matchup against the Nemesis, who are 8 and 9 on the season. Your Platypi are 11 and 7. And stepping up is Jackie Slam on the mound today for the Platypi is Stuby Tubrick, who has a 461 ERA and 124 whip and 12 Ks on the season. He'll fire and strike one. He features a four seam fastball, a two seam fastball, a curve, and a changeup. And now quickly 0 and 2. Weak grounder to McStevens. No, Sky Rodriguez is going to cut, cut him off. And there's out number one to bring up Jock Sport playing shortstop today. And actually, Muffin Sudwick out of the game today. Instead, in his place is Linda Hand out there in left field. And that's up the middle. Base hit. We are back at Colonial Plaza for some Sunday evening baseball on an overcast night. And the controller already has something to say. First pitch from Stuby to Mash Taters. He's hitting third for the nemesis, and he is playing first base. The Platypi, as I mentioned, are in first place up by a game now after winning their last one. And now there's four, four outside the zone from Stuby. Now runners at first and second with one out. And can't get a call from the umpire here. Strike two on a big hook at 77 miles per hour. And excuse my hiccuping early on. And they're going to try to go up and in again. And it's not going to work. That's going to be hit looped into the gap. And it's going to get all the way to the wall. Bacon will get it in as fast as he can. The throw home is not in time. Two runs will score. The Nemesis take an early lead. 2-0 here in the top half of the first inning. Javier Hashir will step in, playing second today, batting fifth, and he's gonna hit one that is going to be a biggest hit. Runner at second is gonna hold up, had to make sure that got down, and it was hit so hard, couldn't advance to third. So it's first and second with one out still. Stuby got the first batter since then. Uh, five straight, sorry, four straight hits. Or four straight runners reaching, as that's a base hit. They're going to send the runner. Willie's throw is on the money. They're down number two. So Stewie bailed out by his uh, defense. Willie Bacon with an incredible throw. A sizzling throw, if you will, and... Now it's 2-0 to Stacy Staples, the catcher for the Nemesis. And she'll quickly be ahead 3-0. The 3-0 pitch hung it, but caught at the hot corner by Sky Rodriguez in the for out number three. We're headed to the bottom half of the first inning. Doesn't look too good so far. It's 2-0 Nemesis. Here's Kitty hoping to mount oh, an early comeback here against Heidi Mabetz. Quickly down 0 and 2 though. And now that's whack down the line, but foul. Heidi with a 9.28 ERA as that's grounded to Taters at first. He'll field it. Step on first for out number one. The controller disconnects. As you know, it is a big plot of pie fan. So not happy with that. Heidi Mabates now with a 9 ERA. 164 whip and 11 strikeouts on the year. Liner, but foul by Hera O'Wugliams, batting second, playing right field today. Quickly down 0 2. Heidi features a four seam fastball, cutter, slider, curve, and a changeup. And that's whacked inside the line. Fair ball. Taters will backhand. 
Field it and fired a first to the covering pitcher Heidi for out number two. And now here's Beefcake McStevens. Ball one low. Hoping to get something going here is Beefcake. And he's ahead in the count two and one. The 11th pitch from Heidi is whacked up the middle. Base hit and that's going to, uh, sorry, tail into the gap. Beefcake's headed for second. The throw is late. The uh, center fielder for the Nemesis was able to cut that one down before it could get all the way to the wall, but could not. And that's strike one to the left fielder for today, Linda Hand. And there's a ball way out of the zone. And now that's a high pop-up. And under it is the right fielder, Yatter, and he will make the grab for out number three. A can of corn for him. There's one hit. For the Platypie in the bottom of the first, we're heading to the top half of the second inning. First pitch to Jace Pine, the left fielder. Strike one. I believe I didn't quite finish my thought in the last inning. The uh, Nemesis center fielder could not uh, get it in in time, despite cutting it off. Couldn't get it in in time to keep Beefcake from two. But we're well past that now, and Beefcake will field this one to his left. Fired a first, and there's out number one. Up steps the pitcher, Heidi Mabetz. And his shield takes strike one on the corner. Strike two coming at him, coming at them with his uh, four seamer, it seems a lot. And now the 2 2 payoff pitch swung on and miss a 95 up and away. There's his first K of the day. And now two outs for Jackie Slim. Believe it or not, what's 0 for 1 in the last inning? And now there's a Lioner, Willie tracking, and will make the chest high grab for out number 3. So, 3 up, 3 down this time for the Nemesis. Here come the Platypie, leading off is Scooter Sandbrick. He's batting 5th on the day once again, and that's a Lioner in the right field. Base hit. Yadder will get it back in, but not before... Uh, not before Scooter steps to first for a leadoff single. Sky Rodriguez up and is going to hit a weak rounder to Mash Taters. There's one to throw back to first. In time, it's a double play. So there goes the uh, leadoff hitter. And now that's line into center. Base hit. So trying to get something going here with two outs. And here's Tugboat Thomas. Catcher on the day. He hasn't caught in a few games. But he's getting the start today. And he's going to wall up one. Left center. That's not going to be caught. That's trouble. Off the wall. Extra bases for Tugboat. The throw comes to the second. Not in time. No relay to home. And it's now 2-1. Then Stubby steps in. He's got four ribbies on the... On the year with a 300 batting average. Let's see if he can help himself here. And that's going to be blooped. That is in there. Base hit. Tugboat never stopped running. The throw home is on the money. Oh my word. What a peg to the plate. So they'll try. The pot of I tried to roll the dice with two outs there. Doesn't come through. Stubby tried to help himself. Didn't quite work out as planned. But. They will cut the lead down to half, or cut it in half, as he will, as Stubby will quickly go 0-2 oh on Jock Sports here in the top half of the third inning. Now line just past the outstretched glove of the diving shortstop BK McStevens. So runner on first. This is the part that of the lineup that did damage, and now this is trouble. Into the gap, off the base of the wall. They're going to wave the runner home. And the throw is well late. It's 3-1. to one. They'll get that run back. And now here's Hito Munchada. Hito is one for one with a double. And he'll take strike one at 89 miles an hour. And now that's a liner. Bacon catches it at the letters. Fires back into second. But he'll get just the one out. And now Javier Hashir will step in. Now there's a blooper. Oh my word. And cut. Oh, Bacon makes the catch. 
and caught napping is the base runner and it's an easy double play what a play by Willie Bacon to end the inning that's an, a highlight real real play right there folks Kitty Kaufman steps up to the plate and will take ball one outside looking to get something going 2-0 as now Moeno might be swung, swinging back into the pot of highway after that incredible catch to keep the rally down to a one run 3-1. Oh, caught a corner with that changeup, I believe. A 3-2. Now that's a liner, and that's going to split the alley in left. Kitty Kaufman will glide into second base, and then we'll even round it, but we'll stick there for a, a leadoff double. Hera Williams will step up now. Runner on second. Nobody out. And now that's going to be Thrown to first, Kitty's going to try to third, and she's safe! Oh my word! What aggressive base running there by the Potapai second baseman. Immediately went back to second as it was hit to the shortstop, then breaks for third, and ends up getting there. And now 1-1 one, one to Beefcake McSeevens. Unfortunately, Hera did get out, but a productive one. And now that's up the middle. Caught by Hashir, though. And Kitty won't try tagging, even though she did take a couple of steps to try to bait a throw. And now Linda Hand will step up to the plate. She's got two homers on the year. And oh, but she'll only need a base hit to score a run here, and that's what she does. She'll Charlie Brown, Heidi, and get that run in. It's now 3-2. Scooter up. Long pause by the pitcher. Strike one on the corner. Heck of a pitch there. Another long pause. And now that's walloped deep into the gap. And it's not going to be caught all the way to the wall. A run will score easily. Jock Sports will relay it into third. It's 3-3. Three to three. Pull out of high. Tie it. Sky Rodriguez up now with a runner in scoring position. And she'll take ball one inside. A runner is Scooter. Don't want to hit it to right, and that's what she did, but it will be caught in the air for by Yatter. And that's out number three, but not before the pot of pie will tally two runs and tie up the ball game. Now three to three headed to the top of the fourth. Just what Stuby needed. And now quickly 0-2 oh, to the right fielder for the nemesis. And now it's a grounder. Kaufman will have to bear and fire to first and plenty of time for out number one. That was a little dribbler right there. And oh, that is crushed. Deep Willie Bacon tracking. And that's all high off the wall. Trying for third. Willie's throw is just late. Oh my, the ball and the runner got there at basically the same exact time, I think. Now Jace Pine will step in. He's 0 for 1 on the day and on the season, actually. And they are going to go after him, I think. But the outfield and the infield are going to be playing in. And it's ball one. Runners coming home, and it's bunted foul. A squeeze attempt there. Oh, and another squeeze attempt. But the ball is right in front of the plate. And now they have her in a pickle, the base runner for the nemesis. And Linda Hand will finally chase her down. And there's out number two. And Heidi Mabetz will now step in with a runner on first. Good try, but the bunt was just dead and right in front of the plate. And poor base running over there by Pine. Should have been at second base at least. And but he's gonna steal here. The throw is on the money. So Pine will result in two outs, I guess, in the top half of this inning. And that's a rally killer right there. No runs after a triple with just one out. And now in the bottom half of the fourth, Willie Bacon will step up here. That's a rally killer and a momentum shifter. As Moonshada will fire it to first for out number one. Tugboat Thomas steps up to the plate. Ball one high. 
strike with that change up at the top of the zone and now that's hit high and deep but to the deepest part of the ballpark did he get enough not quite pardon for me for the hiccups as that's fielded right at the edge of the warning track Stuby Tubrick with a he's one for one on the day helping himself or at least he tried to and now that's hit in the center field And that is out number three. So one, two, three, go the pot of pie after the momentum was shifted into their way. Heidi Mabetz will now have to lead off the inning after Pine was caught stealing to end the previous one. After he tried to, after they tried a uh, squeeze play, as that's line sky is gonna nab it right out of the sky for out number one. And now Jackie Slam, 0 for 2 on the day, will step in. And yeah, they try to squeeze play last up. As that's grounded to Beefcake, he'll easily fire to first. Field and fire to first for out number 2. Chalk Sports will step in with 2 outs. Tried the squeeze and it just failed the first time. Lost the element of surprise and then just deadened it right in front of home plate. And that's up the middle, two out hit for the Nemesis. Let's squash this rally while we can. Stuby, as Mash Taters now steps up, and that's high and deep, and that's gone. No, bringing that one back. It's 5-3, both runs coming with two outs. 434 foot Mash Tater. Bye, Mash Tater. Oh my, his second of the year. And now Moonshada will step in and ground it. And there's out number three. So two runs, both with two outs on two hits. Let's see if the Plata Pie can mount anything. They have Kitty Kaufman up. Last time she led off the inning, lead off double. And there's strike one. As well as... They were able to get two runs across. Now the 0-2 from Heidi. And that's up the middle. And that will fall for a base hit. So Kitty will lead things off with another base hit. Here's Harold Wugliams. 0 for 2 on the day. But did have a productive out her last time up. First pitch to her. Well high. Strike one. And oh at the knees. Runner is going, and now that's hit the other way and caught a third. Good heads up base running by Kaufman to get back. Try to hit and run and just barely miss being able to do it. And now a pickoff attempt at first, nothing doing. With one out here, beef. Oh, nope. Another pickoff. Beefcake steps up with one out here. And we'll take a look at a strike high, oh my word. And now there's a liner caught at short. Kitty will get back quickly. And now Linda Hand is up here with two outs. The pitch, strike one. Oh, and they have Kitty caught in a pickle. Would have had a good jump there, and she's just going to surrender at second. So despite the leadoff hit, nothing doing in the t uh, bottom half of the fifth for the Platypi. Here comes the top of the six, Javier Hashir, the second baseman, will quickly be ahead 2-0. And, oh. and there's a strike from Stuby. Trying to hit the corners on either side on the bottom half of the zone, bottom part of the zone, I should say. And now, oh, kicked off of Sky's glove, throw to first by Beefcake, and not in time. That would have been an incredible play, folks, as Sky dove. Kicked off her glove. And Beefcake was there to back her up. Tried to get the out, but it was just a little too late. And now this time off the glove of Sky Rodriguez. Throw to first, not in time again. Oh my word, back to back. Back to back off of Sky Rodriguez's glove and Beefcake backing up. Both couldn't quite get the out. 73 pitches or 73rd on its way, and it's a line drive to Linda Hand, who will make the grab and fire quickly into third. 
There's out number one. Jace Pine will step in. And they gave him a single, actually. Not a fielder's choice on that bunt. Interesting call. And it's one to one, one and one to him, and there's strike two. Probably the fastest guy on their team. Now the two and two pitch. He's playing left field today, and he's going to ground one to Sandbrick. Fire back to first in time for out number three to the covering Stuby. So no runs despite two hits off the bat. And it's still 5-3 Nemesis as Linda Hand will step in here to lead off. And that's going to be walloped into right field. Doesn't stay fair. Off the chuck. And Yonder will get it back in, but it's too late to stop the double. It's a leadoff double for Linda Hand. As Scooter Sandbrick will step in with nobody out and a runner on second base. Strike one on the corner. He checked his swing. It was just called. And there's a ball one inside. Ball two outside. The two and one. Grounded foul. Heidi hasn't been able to put away batters today despite all the 2-0-2 oh, oh, counts. And oh, that's up the middle base hit. They're going to hold Linda at third. And it's going to be runners at first and third. And my apologies. I meant to say two strike accounts or two strike counts. But my excitement got the better of me. And it's now Sky Rodriguez steps in and will take ball one up and out. And there's oh, a strike right at the bottom of the zone. Don't know how it caught it there. And there's strike two. The one-two pitch. Runner is going. That's grounded. And that's not going to get through. But the run will score. No double play. As uh, Scooter will get into second. He was stealing on the play. A runner at first is out. That was... Sky, but a run comes in. Like I said, 5-4. Potapai still trail up, up the middle. And that's caught. Doubled up his scooter. So though they will get a double play after all. On a line drive shot to the uh, shortstop for the nemesis. All he had to do was flip it back. Scooter was absolutely frozen in ice. And now there's a weak rounder. Who's going to get it? Kitty Kaufman's going to barehand it. A little dribbler once again but they will get the out nonetheless and wow one out here in the top of the second and there's a line drive into left field base hit and there's a one out hit for the nemesis and here's jock sports he's three for three with three singles and the platypie manager will go to the pin and it'll be hugh jacobs to come in First pitch, grounded foul. The 0-1, outside. The 1-1, strike two. Runners at second, or sorry, runners at first. And there's a ball, good stop by Tugboat there to keep the runner at first. And swung on a miss, strike three, went there again and couldn't resist. Could jog sports and now here's Mash Taters. The big two-run homer last at bat that has so far stood the test of time. Ball two outside. They're going to be very careful, I would imagine, pitching to him. Ball three already. And, yep, there's ball four. Four straight to him. Don't want him to beat you. And here's Kito Munchata. And he'll take a ball just at the bottom of the zone. And there's a grounder. Kitty will field it in the infield dirt still. And there's out number three. Even though she had a range back, still got it in the infield dirt. Great closing speed. And no score despite two base runners. And now Tugboat Thomas will come in to hit. And he will foul one off. Strike one. Ball one high. Just a one run deficit. Still have nine outs to uh, make it up. And now Jock Sports will field that one on a backhand fire to first. And there's out number one. Hugh Jacobs would be the hitter. But Rory Crowds will step in here to try to get something going. And he'll take ball one up and in. The 0-1. Liner. Base hit. That's in the gap. And they're going to... Jackie Slam will cut it off before it gets to the wall though. So it'll 
uh, Rory will be held to a single. And now here comes Kitty Kaufman with one out. And the runner was going on the play, and it's going to be a double play. He stopped because he thought that was going to be caught in the air. Oh, man. So it's a double play. Remington Sharp will come in to pitch. He features a four-seam fastball, two-seamer slider. Has a 3.38 ERA on the year, a 112 whip, and 6 Ks to his name. Ball one. Strike one and one now to Javier Hashir. And now that's down the line. Just foul. They're going upstairs and popped up towards the dugout. Sky Rodriguez is tracking and dives, but just quite can't make the grab. And oh, we'll hold up on the 97 heater. Up and in. And there's ball three. Down and away at the pitch. Liner foul just past the outfield umpire out there and left. The 3 2. He'll take ball four. Oh my word, that's not what you wanted there. Javi Yatter will step in. And now that's going to be through for a base hit. That one got through. And oh man, here comes Stacy Staples. It is the bottom half of the order, but you still get worried. Here, hopefully Remington can get out of this quickly. The 0-1, ball one. And now that's a grounder. Scooter will fire to second. The throwback to first is in time. They got a double play. Runner will get to third, but now two outs for Jace Pine. And you have to watch out. He has squee done a squeeze bunt in this game. We'll see if that's what he does here. Ball one up and in, 97. Strike, 98, called, ball two, trying to jam him it looks like, and that's going to succeed, a knuckle sandwich there, four out number three, so he'll get a couple of ground outs to Scooter after a walk and a hit to lead off the inning, and it's now, well it's still 5-4, heading into the bottom half of the eighth inning, Harold Williams will lead off, Heidi still in the ball game. Quickly 3-0 as I drink my tea. And then four straight to Hera. Beefcake will step in, but not before Binky Stevens will replace Heidi on the mound. He features a four-seamer, two-seamer, and fork ball. He has a 487 ERA on the year, a 143 whip, and 10 Ks. The pitch, strike one on the corner. Now that's line, but... Slam will make the grab in center field. Almost right at her. Just had to come in a few steps. And Linda Hand, who has had a game, will step in. And she'll take ball one high. Ball two. Now that's going to be line and through for a base hit. Harrow will stick to second. Now, So the runners will be at first and second. With one out for Scooter Sandbrick, who's three for three with a double and a couple of singles on the on the day. And oh, a tough strike there. Good job help holding off though. Couldn't have done anything with that one. Now quickly 0-2 though. The pitch. And now that's lined to center field and it will get down for a base hit. They'll play it station to station. The bases are now juiced for Sky Rodriguez. The infield is in. And now that's going to be through for a base hit. One run's going to score. They're going to wave in another one. It's 6-5. The Potapai have taken the lead. Willie Bacon steps up. Runners at first and second now with one out. Scooter was trying to make it to third, but they threw it to th uh, slam through it to third instead of towards home. So he had to hold up his first and second. Now one and two for Willie Bacon with one out. And well inside, Potapai now with the lead. And now that's going to be grounded to Hashir at second, fires to second, then to first, it's a double play. Four, six, three, to end the inning, but not before two runs come across to make a Potapai lead. And Brian Pickleford will come in here to pinch hit. Remington Sharp is going to stay in the ball game. First, and he will fire strike one. 
Grounder to Kaufman. Fires to first. There's out number one. Here's Jackie Slam. Strike one. The 0 1. Grounded foul. And just low ball one. And swung on a miss at the up and in heat. 97 with job. For out number two. And now Jock Sports will step in. He's going to ground one. Sky Rodriguez will cut it off. Throw to first. The pot of pie have won this one. It's curtains for the nemesis. A well fought matchup today. Not exactly what we were thinking when this one was brought up on paper, but a very close, tightly contested game. Pot of pie will come on top come up on top. The nemesis. Final box score, five runs, 14 hits, no errors. And the Potapai have six runs, and they scattered 15 hits on no errors. Pardon me for the hiccups, folks. The winning pitcher is Remington Sharp. He went two innings, gave up just one hit, a walk, and struck out a batter. His record will improve to 2-0. The losing pitcher, Binky Stevens, one inning, three hits and an earned run and that's the run that really mattered his record will go down to 0 and 1 and our players of the game number one metalhead software player of the game mash taters made this one very interesting two for two a long homer a double three ribbies and two runs scored our number two player of the game linda hand who went three for four with a double in rbi and three runs great day coming in off of the, uh, well, not really coming off the bench. She did start today, but not a regular starter and did the best of, or made the most of her opportunity. Scooter Sandbrick at number third, three. He went four for four with a double in an RBI. This has been Cookie Cutter here with Pot of Pie Baseball on the Classic Cookie Gaming Channel. I hope you enjoyed it. See ya!